Where once aircraft of the Royal Air Force used to take off is today Silverstone's F1 circuit, the home of British motor racing. Steeped in tradition, the circuit offers lots of quick corners and fast straights, especially around the first sector. Turn one, after the start-finish line, is taken at over 280 km per hour, with practically no braking, and on the following straight, the speedometer touches almost 300. Then comes the key spot for a fast lap. The combination of corners around Beckett's is like a real slalom, a spot where hundredths of a second can quickly be gained or lost. It's then full speed along Hanger Strait and on towards Stowe Corner. Cornering speeds of 200 km per hour demand total concentration. On top of that, there are also often strong gusts of wind that subtly affect the car's aerodynamics. Then it's a case of breaking late into Vale. Last year, still a corner, now a chicane with the potential for overtaking. All in all, however, the opportunities for this at Silverstone are rather scarce. Then comes the new part of the circuit. At Abbey, the cars now turn right into the infield. Taking momentum with them, it's flat out again up to Arrowhead, a 180-degree left-hander. This change has made the circuit about 760 metres longer. It's only at the end of this long straight that the new section leads back onto the original track. This race can become a real nail-biter, especially in the rain. And since rain, as we all know, is not rare at Silverstone, the course of events here can quickly take an unexpected turn. First, however, come another 51 laps, which even in the dry provides sufficient potential for a thrilling Grand Prix.